What's up guys, Justin here with the RealtimeEssentials.com back with another model import tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to import SketchUp models into Unity. So we're gonna talk about how to import models from the desktop version and the free online version, as well as an alternative way of bringing those models into Unity. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we're gonna start by importing a model from the desktop version of SketchUp. And so this is a shed model that I've downloaded from the 3D warehouse, and we're gonna bring this into Unity. By default, Unity actually supports native importing of SketchUp files into Unity, but there's a few tricks that you need to be aware of, really one trick in order to get this to work. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna save our shed model right here. So what we've done is I have this open in SketchUp Pro 2021. And so now we're gonna jump over into Unity and we're gonna create a folder down below. So I'm just gonna create a models folder We'll just double click in here. And so you can either drag the model in or you can right click and click on import new asset. And so if you import that new asset, which is gonna be the shed model right here, notice how this comes in, but nothing about it is working, right? You can't drag it in here. So for some reason, best as I can tell, at least as of right now, Unity hasn't been uploaded to work with the newest version of SketchUp. but. What it does do is it works with the 2017 um, versions of SketchUp models. So all you have to do is just do a file, save as, and then with this drop down, you just want to select the option for SketchUp 2017. And so in this case, I'm going to save this as SketchUp 2017, or in this case, I'm going to save over the one I already had. And I'm going to click on yes. So now this is a 2017 version of the SketchUp model. Well, now, if you jump over into Unity and you do a right click and import new asset, we wanna select the option for Shed 2017. Well, notice how when you select the option for Shed 2017, this model actually comes in with all the different meshes and materials that were applied to it. So then I can just drag this into Unity like this. And so one thing that's usually recommended when you do this is also add a cube in here and usually I like to align it then we're gonna jump back into perspective view but the reason why is that this cube is gonna be a meter so it's gonna be three feet by three feet by three feet and so basically what you want to do is you just want to use the cube as like a reference um, so that you can make sure that this got brought in at the proper scale sometimes you get some kind of like funky things that happen and so in this case though this looks like it got brought in just fine and so one thing I want to note about this before we move on to the next version is notice how right now you can come in here and select the individual geometric pieces inside of SketchUp however, or inside your SketchUp model. However, if you click on the right mouse button right here, notice how you can't actually do anything with any of the material files, right? So the ones contained inside of the SketchUp model, it's not gonna let you do anything with those. Basically because it's accessing those um, from the SketchUp model itself. And so if you wanna be able to edit these, what you can do is you can create a folder for materials. In this case, I'm gonna say shed materials and then you can click on this model and you can click on the button to extract materials so when you do that you can set that folder and click on select well what that's going to do is that's going to come in here and that's going to remove those from this file right here and it's going to put them in this folder over here well then you can actually select them so like this auto 9 for example and you can actually make changes to those materials. So if you wanna make changes, you just need to do that, um, that extra step of extracting your materials. So now, let's say you wanted to do the same thing with the web version of SketchUp. So this is the free web version. And so let's say we wanted to import this model into Unity. Well, what you would do is you would just come in here and you would just click on the button for download. Oops. You'd click on the button for download right here, and you just wanna select the option for SKP. And this is gonna give you the option of which version you wanna download this in. And in this case, we're gonna select the option for 2017. So when we do that, we click on OK. That's gonna download this model right here. And then you can just drag that model file directly into Unity. And you can see how I can bring that in. And this comes in 
the 3D already textured and ready to go with those textures applied to it. Now I will note you probably need to come in here and make some adjustments to the textures just to make sure they're not too shiny or anything like that, but the textures that you have in SketchUp will be brought over if you do that that way. All right, and then finally, let's say for whatever reason, the SketchUp import isn't working. So maybe Unity isn't recognizing the 2017 format, or maybe you just rather do this directly. So what you can do is you can also export um, as an FBX file. So you can do a file, export, 3D model, and then we're just gonna select the drop down, and we're gonna click on the option for FBX file. And in this case, I'm gonna name this scooter. I'm just gonna overwrite the one that I have in here. And in our options, we're gonna go ahead and do export only current selection, because I don't need my default model again. Um, we're gonna leave these as is. We're gonna export our texture maps, and we'll leave this as is as well. And then we're gonna click on OK. And then when we click on export, what that's going to do is that's going to export this model to an FBX file. All right, so you can see how this gives us a list of all of the things that were exported. So in this case, we've got a number of faces and materials. So now all we do is we jump over into Unity and we do the same thing we did before. So I'm just going to take this scooter FBX model and I'm just going to drag it into my model right here. And that's going to import this over. And so if you look at this, um, this is going to come over and it's going to have options for model, rig, animation, and materials. And so the materials all come applied to this object. Notice how they're kind of packed into this folder. But if we drag this in, the only thing we might notice is that this comes in a little bit small. Um, for whatever reason, the scale is kind of messed up. And so all we're going to do to fix that is we're just going to set our scale factor to 2. That means it's going to bring that in twice that size. And we're going to click on the button for apply to apply that change to this model. Now if we bring this in, it's in at the proper size and it looks really good. And so again, same note, even though this is an FBX file, you can't actually edit these materials unless you export the materials to a folder. So what you could do is you could just click on this. Notice how there's an option for materials. We're going to extract the materials and I'm going to create a folder. I'm just going to call it scooter materials and click on select folder. Now those scooter materials are in this folder and I can edit and adjust them. So I could give them more smoothness. I can make them look metal. I can make all of the normal adjustments that you can make um, to materials inside of Unity. All right, so that's from an in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, if you've tried this. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Unity content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.